Hello again, Internet. My name is Tommy Sunthorn, the Digital Creation Specialist for the Bathurst Park Resource Library. And we're here again to talk about Scratch. Now, last time we spoke a little bit about what Scratch is and how we can create the Hello World program, which is one of the first computer programs most people learn when they're first learning computer programming. Now, today we're going to use Scratch to build ourselves a digital storybook. Sounds like fun, right? Now to do that, I'm going to introduce two brand new concepts to you guys. The sprite and the backdrop. So, first things first, I'm a little bit too big on the screen, so let's shrink me down. Here we go. Now, when I'm speaking about sprites, I'm talking about my little cat character right here. Sprites generally refer to computer images and characters that are part of a computer program. The backdrop is simply the background image. So right now, I've got a blank screen in the background. That's kind of boring. So if we wanted to change our sprite or change our backdrop, we use these buttons right here on the very bottom right hand side of our screen. If we click on the little cat icon right here, we can change the sprite. We're gonna keep the little cat character for now. I like how it looks. However, the background's a little bit boring. So clicking on this one right here, it says choose a backdrop. By clicking on that, we'll bring up a whole bunch of different images we can use for our backgrounds. All right. Now I'm gonna choose right down here, it's called room number one, because it's a room full of books. And who doesn't love a room full of books? To make our computer program today, we're gonna to be using four different blocks. In the events, we'll be using when the start flag is clicked. In the control section, we'll be using the wait block. And the last two are located under looks. So again, we'll be using the save block and a brand new one right here, the switch background block. By combining these four different blocks, we will be able to create our digital storybook. Okay? So, first things first, I want to use the when the start flag is clicked and the say. And our little cat, unfortunately, he's feeling a little bit bored. So he's gonna say, I'm bored. But you can never truly be bored when you have the power of imagination. So, time to use the power of imagination. Now, we're going to transport our character to a new scene. To do that, we're going to add a new backdrop. So I'll go back here to choose a backdrop and find a place to send our cat. Ooh, baseball. I love me some baseball. So we'll click and add that, and you can see right now, he's in a new backdrop. But we need to tell the computer program to do that, so we're going to add the switch backdrop button right here. So I will change that to baseball, and let's change back where we were. So we got to send our kid back to his room. To do that, click on the little stage button right here. Clicking on the little backdrops tab right here, you'll see all the backdrops we have in our program. So let's send them back to the room. Click on the cat to see his code. And let's see if this program works. So you're going to say, I'm bored. Time to use the power of imagination. And then the background switches to the baseball diamond. And we're going to say, Let's play ball. Now you notice that the background doesn't switch back. So we're going to add another switch background, switch backdrop, sorry, button and change back to room number one. And put that at the very top. So now when the start play is clicked, it'll automatically switch us back to the room. He will say, I'm bored, say, time to use the power of imagination. And this is where the wait block comes in, because if you notice, we switch the background pretty quickly. So before we switch the backdrop, we're going to wait for one second. So here we go. I'm bored. Time to use the power of imagination. Let's play ball. And there we have a digital storybook. 
Have a great day, folks.